On the 6th of January, something unprecedented in American history would take place. With the country at its most divided following the results of the presidential election, with Joe Biden waiting to be sworn in as the 46th president in less than two weeks, droves of people marched up to Capitol Hill protesting against the president-elect. What would occur within the next few hours was a turning point in American history. Dozens of people began to breach the police line and had effectively made their way into the government building. While some claimed it was a forceful entry, others claimed that it was a peaceful entrance, with pictures making it seem as though it was something of a guided tour. Some of the protesters even made it all the way to the speaker's chair and took what they deemed as symbolic iconography. Over the entire eight hour period, one civilian and one Capitol Police officer had died from the results of the incident. With over 700 people charged and more than $30 million in repairs, this would be the first time since the War of 1812 that the US Capitol would see such anarchy. Halfway through the year and across the entire world, another monumental incident would take place. After almost two decades, the war on Afghanistan would see its end with the withdrawal of American troops from the country. On the 15th of August, the capital city of Kabul was taken by the Taliban and Operation Allies Refuge, along with many other international operations, commenced to evacuate over 150,000 civilians that were at risk of Taliban rule. This was one of the largest airlifts in history which rivaled the airlift from Kuwait 30 years prior. While this was all going on, Taliban troops made themselves increasingly comfortable within the government buildings of Kabul with some taking pictures and photos of members dancing, while others were seen in prominent government seats, all celebrating the 20 year long victory. On a brighter note, 2021 brought a host of hilarious memes and videos. Mitt and Bernie taking a comfortable snooze during the inauguration, The Weeknd looking lost in a maze, Mark being told to think, always remembering to help your family, and a lawyer testifying that he is not a cat. I'm here live, I'm not, I'm not a cat. In the early morning of August 14th, the people of Haiti would witness a startling case of deja vu. A 7.5 magnitude earthquake would rock the island nation with a hypocenter spanning over 10 kilometers hitting just west of the capital city of Port-au-Prince. In a little over 24 hours, the country would experience over 900 aftershocks, causing many cases of PTSD within the communities affected to show up. Many of the citizens old enough to experience the original earthquake that devastated their country only 11 years prior. With a country suffering tremendously from poverty, they weren't even able to recover from the 2010 earthquake before this one hit. Over 2,000 people lost their lives and several hundreds missing to this day. International aid was quick and abundant, but the people there will be left to figure out how to pick themselves up from square one all over again. Many anniversaries were observed in 2021. Ten years ago, the Fukushima reactors exploded as a result of the Tohoku earthquake and the Japanese showed the world how efficient they were when it came to repair and rehabilitation. 2011 also saw one of the greatest years for video games ever. Skyrim, Portal 2, Arkham City, Uncharted 3, the release of the 3DS, Duke Nukem Forever, and Minecraft, which would propel the careers of many YouTubers to this day. 20 years ago, we witnessed the attacks on New York City in 9-11. And 50 years ago, we saw the height of the Cold War being fought through the art of ping pong, and four kids were brutally murdered in a chocolate factory. You lose! Good day, sir! 100 years ago, we saw the end of the Spanish flu, giving everyone today hope that at some point, we will be able to walk to our restaurant table without having to put on a mask. And a thousand years ago, Vinland was said to have been occupied by the Vikings. Movies and television also saw a remarkable year despite the restrictions and delays set up because of the pandemic. Spider-Man is no way going home broke, earning $600 million globally in its opening weekend, third only to Infinity Ward and Endgame. Squid Game came out of nowhere and dominated the streaming industry, listing at number one in over 90 countries and being the most watched series in Netflix history. Demon Slayer showed that anime still had a place in the box office and left many people in tears. 
and an actual decent Dune movie was released, starring future Willy Wonka, Timothy Chalamet. With the global pandemic forcing a lot of people to stay at home, many people were forced to be online for extended periods of time, and oh man, did that cause a lot of interesting things to occur this year. NFTs, ownership of digital property stored on the blockchain, swept the world by storm, with many celebrities and influencers taking the opportunity to score before the bubble bursts. Many question its effect on the environment and its relative usefulness, even being spoofed by numerous outlets. But I don't know about anybody else that owns a copy of the Logan Paul Pokemon card like I do. Some other interesting things to occur was the Pie Man resigning as a censor police chief, fans of Britney Spears rallying together to help her get her independence, and the orange dance machine, Donald Trump, was banned on almost all social media platforms for his 4D trolling. Oh, and potentially inciting a riot. Maybe that was a troll too. 2021 saw a lot of scientific advancements in the ever-growing concern that is the COVID-19 pandemic. Scientists have found that there might be a correlation between natural vitamin D and reduction of COVID symptoms and deaths, with positive results being seen when used as a supplement with the vaccine. However, one of the biggest debates this year was the use of ivermectin as a replacement for the vaccine, all stemming from a comment by Joe Rogan. Media outlets unfairly criticized the drug use as horse and dewormer, panning anyone as a lunatic if they promoted it. Ivermectin, a commonly used horse dewormer that Ivermectin, meant to treat parasites and worms in horses and other animals. One of those drugs he mentioned, Ivermectin, is something more often used to deworm horses. And although not the best way to use for a replacement for the vaccines, some early reports have shown a decrease in symptoms when used in conjunction with the vaccine. It's still too early to tell. But the good news is that we are coming closer to a bona fide way to end this miserable and devastating international saga in human history. Oh, and a study was done with kids aged 5 to 9 and it was found that children value the life of a dog as much as a human and would much rather save multiple dogs than a single human life. So better start spending time with your kids. In the world of scandals, Little Nas X tried to resell Nike shoes with drops of human blood in it, and outrage culture did what it does best and called him the reincarnation of the devil himself. Kids, would you step outside for a second? A natural reaction, I'm sure. A seven year celebrity relationship saw its end with the divorce of Kim Kardashian West and Yeezus, the latter dedicating a song to her. Specifically, and the former responding by beginning a relationship with Andy Samberg and Remy Malik's baby, Pete Davidson. However, the biggest and most expensive cock block was the obstruction of the Suez Canal. On the morning of March 23rd, a 117,000 ton boat known as the Evergreen was stuck in a peculiar predicament. It appears the same people that piloted the Concordia were also in charge of the Evergreen that day. As strong winds were said to have caused the boat to lodge itself perpendicular to the canal, causing an entire blockage of the waterway. This wouldn't have been as big an issue as it was, if it wasn't for the fact that the canal is one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. Within the span of the six days that the boat was lodged, an estimated 12% of the global trade was held back totaling over $9 billion worth of merchandise per day. The benefit to all this was the host of memes that came out of it. Money well spent. Here are some other things that happened throughout the world this year. After an over 70 year effort, China has now been certified by the World Health Organization as free of malaria, a task that was unbelievably hard given the living situations of a lot of Chinese citizens throughout the country. With over 30 million cases annually in the 40s being reduced to almost zero, is nothing short of a remarkable accomplishment. Also, Barbados established itself as a republic and ends its 55-year status as a Commonwealth realm, replacing the Queen of England with Sandra Mason as their first president of Barbados. Rihanna is declared a national hero while also tactfully obscuring a potential baby bump. Lastly, in a very inspirational situation, users on the R Wall Street Bet subreddit banded together to help pump up GameStop's stock value as a way to punish hedge funds betting against the company. 
leaving investment companies like Melvin Capital down $2.75 billion. Many saw this as controversial and dangerous, while others saw this as sticking it to the corporate fat cats that have been doing this for decades. However, the story doesn't stop there. In what could only be considered a Robin Hood invitation of take from the rich and give to the poor, many Redditors that profited from their GameStop winnings invested back in guerrilla conservations with over $350,000 being sent to the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund to adopt 3,500 endangered gorillas. This year saw some of the most spectacular achievements in space exploration. On July 30th of last year, Mars 2020 was launched with its goal to make it to the red planet within the next year. With billions of dollars being invested in it, and with such a short time crunch, especially during a global pandemic, the pressure was on for NASA to show conclusive and efficient results. And within half a year, history would be made. On February 18th, 2021, the Perseverance rover would make its landing in the Jezero crater on Mars, with the goal being able to study rock records and searching for ancient life. Catch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Jeff Bezos does his best Dr. Evil impersonation with the launch of his penis rocket, the Blue Origin, along with space pilot extraordinaire, William Shatner and the intriguing discovery of a moon cube by the Chinese U-22 rover. If I know anything about popular culture, this is either a cryo chamber for an intergalactic super being, a block from Mario Odyssey, or just a bunch of pebbles. I really don't think I would enjoy any of these outcomes, but whatever it may be, let's hope we can all witness it together, good or bad, in 2022. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you.